Hello, my name's Lindsay Kotoff. I'm the CEO of Ebler Inc. Our specialty is equine pharmaceuticals. We make nothing else. It's our passion. I want to tell you a little bit about Amiprazole and how it is used in the treatment of equine ulcers. Horses naturally are used to uh, walking in the fields and eating grass continually. Their stomach is, is adapted to producing acid to break down these grasses on a continuous basis. Nowadays, as we've really domesticated our horses, we put them in stables and we feed them on concentrated food perhaps twice a day. This is great, except the problem is that the horse continually produces acid all day long, whereas he doesn't need it to digest all of the concentrated foods we give them now. Combine this with a training schedule, combine it perhaps with some stress of transport uh, with, with the horse, and all of these things are precursors to ulcers in the horses. In most cases, uh, ulcers are really not diagnosed. You can tell by symptoms, perhaps, that the horse's condition uh, goes off, the coat becomes dull, they are uh, irritable, they try and nip you, they're off their feed. These are all symptoms that could indicate ulcers. A definite way to uh, diagnose ulcers is with an endoscope, but there are not many endoscopes around and they're very expensive. However, with the treatment of amiprazole, uh, if there are ulcers present, the amiprazole will quickly treat the ulcers and you will notice within days an improvement in the horse's condition. meprazole has got a lot of great things going for it. It's well tolerated with horses. There is no recorded incidence of it ever creating uh, problems with an overdose. The other good thing about meprazole is one dose for 24 hours. You don't have to keep repeating it throughout the day for full treatment. However, there's also a problem with meprazole. It's acid labile. It gets broken down in the acid of the horse's stomach and becomes ineffective. What we must do is to ensure that the omeprazole is protected on its journey through the horse's stomach so that it reaches the intestine where, under neutral conditions, it dissolves rapidly and is absorbed into the bloodstream. I want to show you how we do it. I want to show you now exactly how our Oprazole 700 works in the horse. So I'll just open the, the pack. What we're going to do now is simulate what goes on inside the horse's stomach. So we'll take some of our Aprazole granules and put them in a little glass so that we can see what goes on. And now we are going to simulate what goes on in the horse's stomach. This is the acid part as he takes his food. It is all acid. When it passes through the stomach, it then goes into his intestine where it is neutral like water. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to pass through the acid environment of the stomach and into the neutral environment of the intestine. So we'll just have a look at how the timing goes. And we'll see what happens over 45 minutes as it takes the granules to pass through the horse's stomach. Mm -hmm.